Hello and welcome to the Global Church Project. I'm Graham Hill. Rizlov Volf was born in Croatia and raised in Serbia. As a high school student growing up in a marginalised community, he found himself having to explain why Christian faith makes sense. This was the beginning of his journey as a theologian. Mirzlov Volf has written or edited 15 books and over 70 scholarly articles. He offers embrace as a theological response to exclusion. He explores the Trinitarian nature of Christian community and Christian responses to Islam and shows the ways that Christians can serve the common good. An internationally acclaimed theologian, he founded the Yale Centre for Faith and Culture. Mirzlov Volf, welcome to the Global Church Project. You say the gospel is to be a healing word today then Christian theology must address the hatred of the other. How can we go about doing that? Well, we live in the world in which hatreds are being stoked. And also we live in the world in which indifference is being mm -hmm. practiced as well. And on the one hand, we need to overcome hatreds, and on the other hand, we need mm. to overcome indifference. And the healing for both the hatred and mm. indifference is actual engagement with the other as the one who has been created in God's image, mm. as the one for whom Christ mm. has died as the one who has been called and destined mm. for the eternal glory of the world of love. Um, and I think when we situate the other person in this grand story and narrative of God mm. with humanity, uh, we can begin to overcome mm. um, the hatreds uh, and our indifferences and embrace the other. Mm. How do you think the metaphor of salvation as reconciliation moves us from exclusion to embrace? Re reconciliation obviously is a central, uh, the, the central metaphor um, and it has to do with the overcoming of enmity and coming to fellowship of those who have been uh, estranged and in some ways uh, I, I, I almost like put it the other way around I have uh, thought of um, image of embrace as kind of filling out <laughs> what reconciliation ends up uh, being and in a sense taking it even a step further into the reconciled existence and embrace uh, is opening oneself for another even another who has uh, injured me inviting that other person uh, in but also inviting that other person to embrace me. Um, mm. You can have a one-sided embrace, all right? You, um, but embrace by very definition is a kind of a mutual uh, thing. Mm. And I think it symbolizes also in, in a very, very vivid way that uh, reconciliation presumes that the peace has been established but the integrity of the other person uh, their being themselves remains. Mm. Their reconciliation is not absorption of another mm. person into oneself. And embrace symbolizes that because it's not just that embrace is mutual and then you close the arms around the other and other around you, but you let the other go because you can't have an internal embrace, right? In that <laughs> sense, it, it defeats itself. And mm. so it symbolizes the other belonging uh, to me, continuing to live as part of my, my own uh, existence, but the other being uh, himself or herself uh, also. And that's what this reconciled existence is. We're together, but we're together with respecting each other's integrity. There's love, Val. Thank you for joining us at the Global Church Project. Thank you. You've just watched an abridged version of this interview. For the full interview, plus resources for churches and colleges and universities, please visit www theglobalchurchproject.com I look forward to your company next time. From me, goodbye.